Welcome back, Money Team. This is Matt Money Shot. Sniff out the man. She's always got another top five video for you guys today. Today, I'm be going over my top five offensive playbooks, which is something I put out every year. This has a dual purpose. When I put out this top five offensive playbooks video, there's two meanings behind this. Number one, these are my personal top five videos, not the metas, not the ones that everybody likes. These are the ones that I like, the ones I'm gonna focus on the most on my channel. Now, typically the ones that I pick out are usually pretty good, but it's mostly because I put out so much content from them. So the books I'm gonna talk about today are gonna be the books that I spend the most time on, uh, and they're also the books that I highly recommend. So if you guys wanna see more videos like this, like maybe a top five defensive playbook, video which i like to put out next Woo! do me a favor hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that if you think there's a book i missed or you think that there's a really good book i should check out let me know in the comment section let everybody know in the comment section because that might just become the next meta so starting off and in no particular order i have the san francisco 49ers one of the meta playbooks last year the first ebook that i'm going to do this year will be the san francisco 49ers and it was my largest ebook last year it was close to like 50 pages worth of content so that's why i'm starting off with it because i know this playbook like the back of my hand I love this playbook. It was one of the meta playbooks last year. And I'm cheating a little bit because I'm also going to include the New York Jets, which is essentially a very similar playbook, mostly because their head coach was formerly of the San Francisco 49ers. So we're just going to go over the Niners. But like I said, I'm going to include them both because they're both very good playbooks, obviously. Now, as far as the meta plays that I like out of this particular book, love the iPhone Close. I already put out a scheme out of that. Link in the description below. Uh, I also really like, I mean, a lot of the iPhone formations. I think that if you're going to run the football, all these iPhone formations are going to be some of the best formations to do it out of. I mean, if you're a true runner, it's either iPhone or strong, sometimes a lot of single back, but having a fullback on the field can definitely be helpful. And you have a lot of really good offensive passing plays in these formations as well. Moving down a little bit, you have a bunch Y, which I'm not a huge fan of. I'm not really a huge bunch player, to be honest with you, but I'm pretty sure they have a single back bunch as well. Deuce Close is always good, obviously. Uh, the bunch Y flex is, look, I think that might be new. A lot of these double formations I don't really care for. The empty base flex is still a really good formation. I put out a series of plays from it last year. I love the middle high low still. I still think it's a very good play, um, but it's definitely patched. There's still a lot of success you can have from it, but it's still one of my go-to plays. The split close, just put out a full scheme out of that, or I will be. I know it's recorded. I don't know what the, the I don't know when these videos are gonna come out, but this is my go-to formation. I'm heavy in the game when it comes to split close. I, I probably can use 10 of the plays out of this split close. And this particular formation is only in the Niners and it's only in the Jets. So that's one of my definite one of my go-to's. I think there might be in other playbooks, maybe it's just slightly different, but this is definitely one of my favorite. Then you have the Split Close Pro, which is a new formation. You can mix these two together and create a lot of really great offensive strategies. I love the shovel option as well. That's a really good one. I love that addition. If you like mobile quarterbacks, that's huge. Then you get to the Shotgun Tight, one of my favorites. This one has a very good Shotgun Tight. There's a lot of really good plays in this particular Shotgun Tight that you can't find in other formations. The Tight Way Off is pretty close as far as the Shotgun Tight. They have the Tray, which everybody likes. The Tray Open is decent. Uh, the Tray Wide Flex is probably one of the better ones as well. They hit the single backs. They have the single back bunch. Like I said, this is kind of the replacement for the shotgun bunch. There's a lot of good plays to be had here as well. I love the wind close flex. I didn't even know that was in there. This is one of my favorite formations since they put in the game. They must have added recently. Like I said, to me, this is not the fifth best playbook. This might be meta. Next up at number four, I'm going to cheat again. I have the Ravens playbook slash pistol playbook. And the reason I say that is because if you follow my channel last year, you know that I fell in love with the pistol playbook. It's still one of my favorite playbooks. I'm trying to stick to just team playbooks here because I know you can't necessarily use the pistol and custom playbooks and stuff like that. You can't create a custom playbook out of alternate playbooks, which they really need to fix, by the way. They really need to add that to the game. But this is the closest thing. There's so many great pistol formations. Look how many pistol formations they have. I love a lot of these pistol formations. Uh, personally, I probably like... The, where is that here? The weak eye is probably my favorite. That's one of my favorites. There's so many good ones. Like, I'm just going to bunch these all together. So many great run plays. I can't remember if it's a strong slot or a strong eye. There's so many great trick plays. That's the thing about Baltimore and about the pistol playbook is they're really like college-based offense with a ton of trick plays. So if you like running read options, like right there, the triple option, I love that play. The power option, I love that play. The triple slip or triple option slip. There's so many great 
running plays. So as far as a running playbook and a trick playbook, these are definitely the top two. Their passing formations are a little bit lacking, but they still have a lot of really interesting ones like the shotgun bunch, obviously. That's kind of, you know, you need that. And they have a pretty in-depth shotgun bunch. So I'll probably put together a video for you guys if you guys want to see a full breakdown of the shotgun bunch out of the Ravens. Let me know in the comment section. The bunch open offset obviously is a variation of that. The deuce close, like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the deuce close in the shotgun as much as the single back, but it's still solid. Then they have that empty base flex. Like I said, this is still something I need to have in pretty much all my playbooks just because I still use the middle high low so much. The empty quads. This one's a new one. Four wide receivers on one side of the field. I am going to be dipping into that. Hit the like button if you guys want to see that because I've never seen a formation with four wide receivers on one side of the field. I'm sure there's some super glitchy stuff that can be made out of that. Then, like I said, not a ton when it comes to shotgun. That's not what this playbook is about. I do like the split close pro, the split twins. I think you can use those together. I put out some videos from the split twins last year. That one's really fun. The split wing nasty. This one's brand new. This was not in the game last year. I, I think I would remember a formation called the split wing nasty. You know what I'm saying? That's nasty. The split Twins were so good last year. I would imagine the split with Nancy is just as good. Then, like I said, nobody really likes the spread formations. You got your tray open, your tray open halfback, whatever. They don't even really have a tray wide flex, which kind of sucks. But like I said, they lack a little bit in the passing. This is a running playbook. They do have the strong eye wing, though. Lots of good plays there. And they only have one single back, single back wing pair, uh, which is still a really good formation. So they don't have a ton of single back. This is a this is a playbook that, you know, people like shotgun because it's hard to get sacked in shotgun. You're, you're, you're back away from the line. All the pistol formations are essentially shotgun formations. Formations. They're essentially the same way where you have a quarterback far enough away from the line of scrimmage that you have plenty of time to throw the ball. So that's why, like I said, the, the Ravens to me, it's one of my favorite every year. It's also one of my biggest ebooks every year, mostly because there's just so many great run plays in it. Next up, we got the Saints. They took a lot of stuff out, a lot of good stuff out. They took out the iPhone close. They they, they, they don't have that anymore. They do have a couple of good uh, information, you know, like the iPhone Z close. I think that's a new formation. I'm definitely going to mess with that. The close flex is still here, the tight. Uh, then you get to the pistol. They don't even have the pistol pistol bunch TE anymore they just have the pistol bunch so they definitely took out a lot of good formations uh, to kind of nerf this I feel like they've been trying to nerf this for years but there's still a lot of really good formations the five wide receiver trio is good the bunch is still good eagle H slot still one of my favorites the empty base flex is still one of the better ones there's so many great formations in this playbook even with the ones that they've removed um, the, nobody likes the spread the heavy panther must be added for Taysom Hill uh, you have the shotgun split I mean there's a lot of really good formations then obviously the tight offset TE is still one of the gold, the, the, the classics when it comes to the formation, the tray offset, uh, the tray wide flex, which are very similar formations you can get a lot of great passing plays out of. This is still, even though Drew Brees isn't here anymore, this is still uh, a great playbook as long as you have uh, Sean Payton out there. It's, it's still going to be very similar to, to, to explosive passing plays like New Orleans has been known for. Then you got plenty of single backs as well. I like the A slot. It's not the best play, you know, not the best ever, but the, it's got some really good plays. The bunch base is really good. The deuce close is really good. Uh, the single back as a whole, I mean, the tight white off used to be one of the meta formations. It's still very good. Uh, the tray still has a lot of really good plays. The wing flex is still really good running and passing formation. The wing pair is, is to me a standard when it comes to running the football the wing stack is still really loaded i mean there's just so many great i think that they're probably they probably have better single back formations to throw from and run from obviously than uh the shotguns i think that that might really be where the strength of this book is and next up we got the raiders another meta book from you know the last two years probably still one of the best in the game i mean they have a ton of i forms once again like i said if you like to run the ball i forms are one of the better formations to do it i form close is probably their best um, the close flex, the tight, the twin tee, they're all really good as well. Uh, but to me, if you're going to run or pass, iPhone close is definitely the way. they got a ton of great shotgun formations. Maybe one of the best sets in the game. Five wide receiver trio you can get a lot done with. The bunch, obviously, is one of the metas. Uh, you got the bunch quads, which was, to me, a very overpowered one not too long ago. It's still very good. I like spread formations. I like empty backfields. I think that you can have to do a lot with that. The bunch TE might be the best one in the entire book. Still one of the better uh, formations. I mean, it's very similar to the bunch, but, you know, it has a lot of very unique concepts then you go down to the empty base flex like i said previously that's a must-have for me i put out a lot of plays last year from the empty tray stack that's a very glitchy formation with very glitchy routes 
Uh, the Split Twins, that looks like a new addition. Uh, last year, I think this was only in the Ravens, and I'm not sure if it's the exact same, but it has very similar looking plays. I really like that halfback off tackle look. That looks like a great play. I'll have to mess around with a little bit more. The Shotgun Tight, this is one of my personal favorites. Most people are more uh, into Shotgun Bunch and stuff like that. I like Tight Formations. Those are my favorites. Uh, tight Slots is decent, although it's not nearly as good. Then you have the Tray, the Tray Open, and the Trey Y Flex. All these are very important to Madden players. They're some of the most used formations year after year. Uh, that's pretty much it for the shotguns. They're moving down to the single backs. I mean, they do have the ace, which is a very good formation. I don't know if they have the 01 trap, um, which I haven't really found yet, but there's still some good plays here, like the skinny posts and stuff like that. Still a very good formation a lot of people like to use. You got a single back bunch. That makes like three different bunch formations that they have that you can mix together. Um, you know, I don't know another playbook that has that many bunch formations. People love bunch formations. Deuce close ones again. Then you have the tight way off, which like I said, was uh, very good for, uh, that's basically a, a tight formation uh, just from the single back, just under center. The wing flex close has been one of the meta formations since it came out two years ago. A lot of people had a lot of success with that. The wing pair, very, oh, I mean, I love a lot of these. Um, the wing slot, the wing tight, um, you know, very good running formations. And they also have a very good set of strong formations, a strong close, the strong slot, the strong wing. All these are very good running formations and they're very similar in a lot of ways to the Niners. So to me, two of the best playbooks in the game without a doubt. Uh, the Raiders, once again, like I said, I'm not really ranking them in order, but the Raiders is one of the metas. So that's it, that's the video. Like I said, if you guys want to see more videos like this, maybe a top five defensive playbook, which I'll probably record and put on my Patreon or my Join Now community, uh, whether it makes YouTube or not, hit the like button let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.